This is Bob. And this is Tim. Bob's specialty is electronic controls, while Tim's focus is on mechanical components. Right now, they're both getting calls about a new unit cooler installation at a job site. Bob decides to install a pre-assembled unit cooler with the Heatcraft Quick Response Controller. Meanwhile, Tim chooses a traditional unit cooler. It'll require additional components to be installed in the unit, but he's pretty sure it's the way to go. Bob made quick work of the unit cooler installation, and now he's getting another service call. It's Greg, a local cold storage facility manager who's having issues with his condensing units. He tells Bob that they all appear to be short cycling. Bob tells Greg about the lead lag controller and how many of his customers have found it to be the ideal solution. Greg's on board with Bob's advice, and Bob heads out to install the controller. But Tim? He's still installing that traditional unit cooler. When Bob finishes installing the controller for Greg, he gets a text from a restaurant's remote refrigeration controller telling him that the walk-in temperature is rising. Bob heads out to his truck, logs into the system, and diagnoses the issue remotely. Turns out, the door was open. Bob has solved the problem without having to even drive over to the restaurant. Meanwhile, Tim hopped in his truck as well to run over to a local wholesaler to buy a thermal expansion valve. Turns out the one he had on his truck didn't work with that unit cooler. Yep, that unit cooler. Five o'clock is in sight, but Bob's got time to work in one more job. He calls Max, a local restaurant he has a maintenance agreement with, to see if he can stop by and service their Heatcraft Beacon 2 refrigeration system. The system has a smart controller, so it's easy for Bob to use the smart controller error log to access Max's preventative maintenance needs. Within minutes, he's serviced the system and can check one more grateful customer off his list. Tim has also checked something off his list, driving back from the wholesaler so he can finish installation on that unit cooler. As the day comes to an end, Bob feels pretty good about what he's accomplished. And Tim? Tim's just grateful he was able to finish up that unit cooler before his family had dinner without him.